What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aries, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for sign of Aries. Does this resonate if you have Aries in any aspects of your charts? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or snow, moon, hammer, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for sign of Aries. Um, Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. For real, for real, for real. We're at 13,005 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share my channel very publicly and word of mouth. I'd so much appreciate it. It helps support one of a single mama, a two kids, and come streams. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so we're going to get into it. Hope everybody is doing fantastical. For real, for real, for real. Um, I did receive a couple channel messages in as I was meditating on your June of 2022 Oracle card reading. Now, like I said, don't forget the basics. It's free general collective reading, so it's very important. I only take the messages that resonate and read the rest. One message may apply. Two may apply. Two plus may apply. None may apply. Only you know your story, not anybody else. These are psychic, intuitive messages, so it's very important to take what resonates, leaves the rest. Okay. So the first channel message I received was um, an Aries is really feeling a, a fire sign feminine. That's what I heard. That was the first one. And the second one I heard pregnancy test. Positive. So you plug it in. How it resonates, Aries. Woo! It's already getting juicy up in here. We ain't even two minutes in. So, <laughs> so um, an Aries is really feeling a fire sign feminine. Um, so I feel in that message, you could be a masculine or feminine Aries. You could have Aries in the sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the moon, hammer, Jupiter charts. Um, but you could be masculine or femme, but you're feeling a fire sign femme energy. So you like the fire sign femme. Now that could be platonically. It could be wanting something more. I mean, however that resonates for you, Aries. But you're feeling the fire sign femme. So either platonically or romantically or what have you she could have aries leo or sag and her sun moon rising venus or them in hammer jupiter charts you plug it in how it resonates aries just saying just saying um and i heard pregnancy tests coming positive so um energies can be reversed so all i heard was pregnancy tests coming positive so um it could be you about to take a pregnancy test and it's about to pop positive or somebody you're connected to about to take a pregnancy test and it's about to pop positive you know because i know some of you guys are dudes so you plug it in how it resonates there aries um how that resonates we have firefly and cobra this could be that fire sign thing you're feeling so much for some and actually you have double fire sign energy just to let you know lord with your fire sign self I hope everybody's doing fantastical. I do, I do, I do, do. Oh, my Lord. And I think I already disclaimered it, but I'm going to disclaimer it again. These are psychic, intuitive messages from Spirit Realm. Just let them know. Spirit Realm, what messages do you have for Aries? And I know my hair's a little gray gray, but I'm just rolling with it. Spirit messages do you have for Aries? Trickery, ooh, you've got trickery and cobra, um, Aries. Somebody is doing, I feel, I didn't hear this yet, but I feel already from the cards, somebody's doing some shicey behind the scene, scene shit to you, or they already have, for some. I mean, I haven't got that download yet, but I can just tell you from the cards, um, I feel for some of you guys, they already have, for some, they might, they are about to. Um, you've got trickery with the cobra. Betrayal energy in the animal spirits. Oh my god. For some, it could be a fire sign that's done this or is about to do it. For some, it could be somebody else taking on the fire sign energy. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But man, that's that's a heavy uh combination there. The trickery with the cobra animal spirit. Woo.
Uh, Taurus is about to ever regret, ever regret betraying an Aries. This Aries is about to create many negative series of chain events for this uh, Taurus. For some, it's a Libra. For some, it's a Scorpio. Oh, dear God. So you plug it in how it resonates. Some, it's a Leo. Some, it's a Leo. Okay. So for some, it's a, you got a lot of signs in here. You plug it in how it resonates. So for some, it's a, um, some, it's a Taurus. Some, it's a Libra. Some, it's a Scorpio. Some, it's a Leo. So they could have um, Taurus, um, Taurus, Libra, Leo, or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midheaven, Jupiter, Charge. You plug it in where it resonates. Aries. But and, um, whoever, it could be one person that's done this to you or two plus of these signs. And remember, just because we have four signs in here, it could have been 10 Libras and 50 Leos for all we know. Um, so, you know, depending on how many people has be, um, betrayed you here um, and however this applies in one's life. But I heard they're about to ever regret um, trying to pull the wool over your eyes there, Aries. Whoever these people are, um, Libra, Leo, um, Taurus, and um, Scorpio, they can have any of these in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midheaven, Jupiter charts. Um, however, these people apply to you. I haven't heard how they apply to you, but I've, well, obviously that's betrayal, the trickery with the King Cobra esque energy. Just saying, dear God. And you have Firefly. I think you've already been enlightened or you're about to be. And I'm serious about that, about the uh, betrayal here. Spirit message just you have some voice. Man, this, woo! Got me like, wow! And they can be masculine or femme energies, by the way. The uh, Leo, Libra, Tor uh, Taurus, or uh, Scorpio, by the way. We have angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm, ladder, climbing towards success, trickery. An Aries with a very, 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 very large spiritual, um, not spiritual. Oh, I, maybe you are spiritual. I heard, I didn't hear spiritual. I said spiritual. Maybe for one, you're spiritual. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. With a very large social media base is what I was going to say. With a very large social media base, I heard it's about to promote a fire sign feminine in a huge way. Heavy Leo placements. So you plug it in how it resonates. I didn't hear spiritual. I just said that. So everything happens in a reading happens for a reason. Maybe, well, maybe the fire sign femme with heavy Leo placements is spiritual, or maybe you are, or maybe you both are. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else, but whoever you are, Aries, I feel you can be masculine or feminine Aries. You can have Aries in any aspects of your placements, sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midheaven, Jupiter. But um, you you really like this fire sign femme, the Aries Leo side with heavy Leo placements, meaning she has two or two plus Leo placements in her charts and her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midheaven, Jupiter charts. So strong uh, Leo energy, but um, but you really like her, you really like her. And I heard you have a large social media platform and um, you're about to promote her. So I think you're going to share um, some of her work is what I think. Um, whatever work that is and how that resonates. For some, I feel she can be spiritual. Because I heard, I mean, I didn't hear spiritual. I just said spiritual. Or you could be spiritual. Or you both might be. You plug it in how it resonates there, Aries. Number five could be a very significant number in one's life. Number five, it could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to. Or any other significant number in one's life. Number five. All right, we have firefly, cobra, angel, ladder, trickery, attachment. 
Firefly. A particular Aries has been depressed recently. However, soon after cutting many people off and really standing ground, you're about to really, really come into your own. Know this. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So depression energy, if that resonates for you. Now, I don't feel this is major depression. I just want to say this. Um, I don't feel major depression here, according to the spiritual downloads. Uh, you know, everybody goes through small bouts of depression every now and then. It's just how you get through it in life. The positive coping mechanism skills you make and take in your life to bring yourself up um and i feel that's what's going on here i don't think it's major depression or you know or anything like that um by any stretch um at least gotta hope not. um if it is please get some help i just wanted to explain with that okay but however that resonates um depression energy um whatever facet and scope of depression this is okay but um but i heard and there, another reason why I don't think it's major depression is you're about to come out of it. You're about to come out of it. Um, for some, I think this fire sign film you like so much might help you come out of it. Uh, for some, for some, it might be something else. But however that resonates, it's, you're about to be like a firefly. You're about to spark the hell up. Yeah. Um, I heard you will come out of it. You will. But um, basically, it sounds like in all the positive coping mechanism skills you're about to take in yourself. For some, it's you cutting off a bunch of ass people. It sounds like you've already cut off. For some, it could be a bunch of ass people you're about to cut off. And it sounds like toxic ass folks. It doesn't sound like it's positive people you should allow in your life. It's toxic ass folks you know is not good for you. That's exactly what I think for some. Um, because why would you cut off healthy people for you? That doesn't make no damn sense. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and I heard once you do that, well, for some, you've already done it. So, for some, you're about to. So you plug it in how it resonates. But whether you've already done it or you're about to do it, it's about to spark you up like a little firefly, baby. <laughs> just saying, just saying, just saying. With your fire sign energy. Just saying, just saying. Confirmation from my fat boy, by the way. Come on, dude. Come on. Confirmation from fat boy. Um, so you're about to perk it up. You're about to perk it, perk it, perk it the freak up. You're about to perk it the freak up. That's my word of the day. Perk it the freak up. Just saying, just saying. Um, can y'all hold on a second? I'm about to freaking break, break a sweat. I feel like my armpits are going to start, like, dripping. Um, I'm serious. I'm so hot. I got to go from air on. <laughs> Give me a second. Hold on a second. Okay, so sorry. So yeah, so um, that's good, you know, because nobody should um be wallowing in misery and nastiness and yucky yuck. Um, and that's just true, you know. Hell, I've been wrongfully terminated four times in the damn universe. You don't see me over here crying a river like Justin Timberlake's song, "Cry Me a River." No, not really. Nay, nay. I just found other creative ways to get out of that bullshit because I know exactly what my toxic ass community is doing to my ass. Um, they're trying to block my money, but yet I'm still good. So they can do whatever the hell they want to do, but um, I will still find a way, bitches. And that's just the truth. Another Aries is about to be mortified, mortified through many series of chain of events. Heard another Aries is about to be mortified, mortified through many series of chain of events. So we have one about to perk up. Congrats to you. And one about to be severely embarrassed. Publicly embarrassed. Publicly embarrassed. And one about to be publicly embarrassed through many series of chain of events. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Yikes. Cobra.
strong Libran betrayal energy, strong Scorpionic betrayal energy, strong. Well, you had four that betrayed you in here earlier. Leo, Libra, um, who were the other ones? Leo, Libra, there was four, there was four. But I heard strong Libra and Scorpio, Scorpionic betrayal. So, of course, you know, one of these may apply for you or two plus may apply for you over here. But we're getting it again. I mean, all over the place in here. And I feel for some, they use trickery to do it. Um, but we're getting it again. So Libran and um, Scorpionic betrayal energy, strong. So, I mean, they're using, they have already used the fangs poker fangs and put it in you or if they're about to however that resonates they're taking on uh fire sign energy um which is you know your energy just saying and they have put the damn fangs of life in you or they're about to however that resonates they could have scorpio or libra in their sun moon rising venus ortho and haven jupiter charts it could be a masculine or femme scorpio or libra One of these Aries is about to fight back in a very positive way. Lawsuit energy. Oh, shit. Whoa. Well, that's how I would fight back. Because it's not good to be um, out there on the streets, nucking and nucking and whatever, nucking tea bucket. That's not, that's not smart. Um, the smart way would be a lawsuit. So one of you guys has some smarts. Just saying, just saying. I mean, I love it because that's exactly how I'd fight back. Uh, and that's just damn truth. I mean, you have, I feel you already have the information you need on these people or you're about to gain it. However, that resonates. It's Scorpionic, Libra energy, huge. I like Cobra fangs. I mean, huge. And um, you either already know the knowledge you need and the information you need or you're about to learn it. And so you're about to fight back in a smart, healthy, copacetic way with a lawsuit. Um, so lawsuit against them, um, you're going to fight back in a positive way, not a nucky to you bucket way. So Cobra and Energy. Man. And through many series of chain events, an Aries is about to send... A letter via snail mail to a feminine energy about the past. They feel guided to do so, spiritually guided to do so. Wow, Aries. Wow, okay. Well, and that's, this sounds positive, and that could be the spiritual guidance, protection from harm as well. It's heavy spiritual energy in here. And you can be a masculine or femme Aries. You plug it in how it resonates. But I heard soon you're about to send a letter via snail mail. So actual United States Postal Service energy. Um, I heard to a femme energy um, explaining the past in some shape, form, or fashion. So, and I heard you feel spiritually guided to do it. So um, I, I, whoever this is for, you're spiritual. We've got heavy spiritual energy in here. Now, I just want to clarify, you... For some, you could be spiritual and be religious. I, hey, I don't judge anybody. And that's just damn true. Now, I'm not religious. Nay, 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 nay. Um, I haven't been for five years, half a decade. Um, but I don't down people that are religious. I just want to disclaim that, okay? But the facts are, you can be spiritual and not be religious like me. Or you can be spiritual and religious. How that resonates, Okay. But you were definitely spiritual. However, that resonates. You feel spiritually guided to do it. And you're about to send, uh, it sounds like a letter in the mail. Now, if you handwrite it, you hand type it, or if you're from a business, I'm not sure, or a company. I'm not sure, but you are sending it to this feminine energy, explaining the past in some shape, form, or fashion. You feel spiritually guided to do so. And another Aries is about to completely just become spiritual. They're about to get heavy flack from their family, but they know it's going to be so worth it in the end, and they are right, it is. Wow, well, that's beautiful. I mean, if you feel guided to go that path. I mean, hell, I got flack forever um, from my family. 
Um, they thought I, they called me literally the devil about half a decade ago. I had to cut them off. I had to quit talking to them um, because it was that they just called me demon. They said I was demon. They said I was a demon. Um, of course, you know these are people that grew up in church and had freaking pair of sunny uh, sunny shoes at, at when before they could even wear shoes and walk. I mean, but I knew it was the best path for me. I done you know I done a lot of research previous and. I knew it was best for me and for my kids because um, I didn't, I wanted my kids to, if they want to be religious down the line, they can have their free will choice to do it, but I didn't want to feel pressured. And I feel, I personally feel churches are very culty, very culty. Um, I'm not saying all churches are by any stretch. I'm not judging, judging anybody's church, church. I'm just saying that's what I don't do. You know, I can love God in my heart all day long and I do. I can sit over here in peace and love God and be a good person and um, put positive and wonderful intentions out into the universe and set my intentions in positive ways like I do, you know. So that's just me. I don't force my beliefs on anybody, but I don't, in return, I don't want anybody force my, uh, their beliefs on me, if that makes sense. Um, and I feel churches do that. Some, some do that. Um, and I'm serious. But that's just my view. You know, but anyways, whoever this is for, you are about to, um, you're about to, um, make a big leap. Your family sounds like they're very religious and I'm just being for real. I'm serious. Um, but I think, you know, you're highly intuitive. You know, this, you know, they are, you know, they're going to give you flat, but you know, it's the best thing for you. Um, so to just turn in spiritual. I think you're about to turn away from a church or turn away from a religious organization organization in some shape form or fashion um and about to make your own rules when it comes to spirituality and religion hopefully positive rules um you know um like i'm about to set me up a little altar on the side over here and um uh I, in fact i'm going to open up new business ideas on here soon um just saying just saying um but that has nothing to do with my spirituality but i'm just saying um it's me turning over has been the best thing for me. I can only speak on my experience. Um, hopefully you have the same experience as well, but you've been guided. You've been, I feel for some of you guys, you've been feeling guided to do this for a while. You just haven't done it. And I think it's because of been peer pressure from um, your family. For some, it's been your toxic community. For some, it has been your toxic community. So for some, it's been your family peer pressure. For some, it's been your toxic community peer pressure. Um, but for some, you're about to do it. Okay. Ladder climbing towards success. A particular Aries is about to hire a very creative individual soon. They know they're very, very creative. They have proven it to this Aries many times in the past. To help decorate their home. It's going to be very, very, very beneficial for this Aries and very, very, very lucrative and beneficial for this person. Feminine energy. Fire sign feminine energy. Holy shit, you are pulling a fire sign feminine so strong, Aries, whoever you are. Okay. Well, decoration energy. I love it. Um, home decoration. Um, whoever you are, Aries, you want to, um, whoever that message is for, you want to decorate your home. But you know what Fire Sign Femme, I heard that is very, very, very creative, but, and she's proven it to you many times over the past. So you know her in some shape, form, or fashion, and somehow she's proven over the years or over time or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That she's very freaking creative. Um, and you've seen this through something in some shape, form, or fashion. She has proved it to you. Now, however you know her and connect with her and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But heard soon, you're going to, um, it sounds like reach out to her, communicate with her, and offer her to be, um, it sounds like a contracting position or a contract or something to come in and help you um, decorate your home. So you're going to contract, it sounds like you're going to contract her as a 
home decorator for you. I heard it's going to be very, very beneficial for you and very, very beneficial for her and very lucrative for her. So I think you're going to pay her very well for her services. Why? Well, whoever you are, you have a lot of money. I'll tell you that. Um, that's exactly what I think. I mean, I heard it's going to be very lucrative for her. That's beautiful. And I mean, of course, you're not going to, I mean, whoever you're about to offer it to, you, they have proven it to you. They've straight up bar none proven it to you. So... I mean, you know, this person, they have the creativity. Uh, for some, maybe you don't have the creativity or you feel you don't. Um, and you want to utilize her services and her creativity, which there's nothing wrong with that. Now I understand why we got so much fire sign energy in here. It's a fire sign BM. That's really beautiful. Um, I just be very beneficial for you and her. So I think her being able to get this job, I feel it's a you contract. Um, between you and her, um, is going to help her showcase her talents as a home decorator. And maybe you let her um, take photos of her work after she's completed her job. And so it'll benefit you and her. That's really beautiful, man. Whoever you are, Aries. I mean, you have the money to do it, whoever you are. You have the money to do it, just straight up. Um, that's really beautiful. Ladder, climbing for success. And that could be the climbing towards success too with the um, home decoration. You will, are going to be so pleased. She is an excellent communicator. She will not do anything that you don't want her to do. I heard you're going to be so pleased. She's an excellent communicator. She will not do anything you don't want her to do. Wow. Well, so it sounds like you've got a winner, winner, chicken dinner. But in all fairness, it sounds like you're going to pay her very well to do it. And in all fairness, you should, because whoever you are, you, um, and I'm just being straight up, you have the money to do it. But in these kind of situations, you want to pay them well. You want to, especially when she's proven to you many times over the past, she's very creative. So, you know, you've got a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Well, you should compensate the winner, winner, chicken dinner in a positive aspect as well, too, um, because it's only fair. Laws of compensation. Um, and that's just the truth. So, um, but I heard you're going to be very, very, very pleased. She will not do anything you don't want her to do. So, and she's an excellent communicator. So if she has any questions, she'll ask you um, if she think, you know, what color do you want? What texture do you want? Blase, blase, blase. What color drapes? Blase, blase, blase. I mean, that's the way it should be. Um, that is the way it should be. Absolutely. freaking lutely And it sounds like she will be very professional about it and, she won't overstep her bounds, and of course, she'll clearly communicate with you. Wow, man, this is beautiful. An Aries feminine is getting a huge ass wake up call of what she was really a part of in the past. So mortified. Oh, my Lord. I heard an Aries fam is getting a huge wake-up call of what she was a part of in the past. She's so mortified. Um, we've got a very highly embarrassed Aries in here, and I strongly feel it's an Aries fam. Um, but only you know whoever you are. You could be masculine embarrassed as well, but only you know if you're masculine or feminine. But we definitely have at least one Aries fam in here very highly embarrassed. And one Aries masculine or feminine is about to get very highly embarrassed in public soon. Um, but sh this Aries fam is waking up and realizing what she really was a part of in the past and it doesn't sound like it was something positive um so maybe she's climbing towards success out of the fog of um what she, what she thought she was in and now she's realizing what she really was in which was make a bunch of hot mess ass express a huge hot mess and these people are about to really have some negative karma and one one particular Aries fam is about to have very negative karma regarding this as well. Okay, I heard a huge hot mess express and one Aries fam is, um, I guess the one that realizes what the hell she was really in in the past. I think she was lied to. She had, the co I mean, you have the cobra and the trickery. So Aries fam, you were tricked. You were lied to. You were betrayed. Um, probably by these folks, especially a Libra and a Scorpio. But it was some kind of scammy, conny, whatever the hell it was in the past. I mean, you got trickery with Cobra. 
Um, but I think the climbing with success uh, towards success is you climbing out of what you thought it was and realizing what the hell it really is. Um, if that resonates. A Leo feminine is about to get offered a position of high authority soon. Relocation bonus. One Aries is about to be very, very, very happy. One Aries is going to counter the offer and offer her something else. One Aries is about to be mortified. Oh my Lord, you're pulling in such strong Leo Fem energy too. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. These readings are never boring. So um, heavy Leo Fem energy. Um, one of these Leo Fems, whoever this person is and how they connect to you, Aries, or did connect to you. Heard they're about to get offered a position of high authority um, offer soon. Job employment offer. Um, whoever this Leo Fem is and how they apply to you, Aries. But um, it sounds like another Aries is going to counter offer this Leo Fem something else. Um, and one of you Aries are going to be embarrassed that she gets offered this offer. So I don't know why the hell you'd be embarrassed. It's not your life. Um, it's hers. So I don't know, but oh, you know, you're storing out anybody else. Trick, trickery. Informant energy strong in one Aries energetic space in a workplace situation. For one, you're about to find this out soon through many series of chain events. I've been pulling informant energy in very strong too. I did in, um, I think it was Capricorn's reading. I think it was Caps's thing. Um, very strong informant energy. And I did an actual collective reading on an informant in a workplace. Um, if somebody is an informant for the feds in a workplace. And I'm just being real. And a psychic picked up on it. A psychic picked up on it, but the psychic did not tell anybody in the workplace um, that that person was an informant. But the psychic is not at that workplace anymore. Um, so um, the psychic does not communicate with anybody at the workplace anymore. But somebody else in this workplace that is not a psychic or is somebody else and not this person is about to pick up on i heard through many series of chain events you're about to learn this so somebody's about to pick up on the fact this person is a psychic uh i'm not psychic i'm sorry on the fact they're an informant the psychic's not at the workplace anymore somebody else is about to pick up on it oh it was pisces it was pisces reading you back and check pisces it's a pisces that's about to pick up on it yes it's a pisces but i heard they um in the channeling i heard they're about to learn of it in a way they would have never expected it's some kind of evidence they're about to find in the universe so i think it might be text or um, screenshots or email or um from agent or agents or agency um it was some kind of evidence that pisces was about to pick up on from this um this person that works with them in the workplace the informant so i think you're about to some of you i think you're about to learn of it from a pisces is what i think for some, it could be another sign, but you work in a workspace situation and I uh, feel for some, you could be manager, bosses, supervisors, or CEOs, um, position high authorities, because there's a reason they're about the, um, whether it's a Pisces or any other sign, there's a reason somebody's about to come to you and inform you of this informant. So I feel you have to be a position of authority. That could be the trickery energy too. It's about to create many series of chain of events, many. It's about to create many series of chain events, many. And a surprise investigation with this, large. And a surprise investigation with this, large. So it's about to create, sounds like it's about to create a very large ass investigation in a workspace. Now, it could be a corporate entity or a small business, but however that resonates, somebody's got an informant up in their workspace. I mean, and I'm serious about that. And I'm feeling federal agent informant. Um, and I strongly feel for some of you guys, it is a Pisces about to pick up on this. But you can go back and check Pisces reading if you're interested. Um, if that message or messages you feel that might apply for you. 
okay? But in this aspect, trickery is informant energy. Um, holy crap. And for some, I think the Scorpio and the Libra knew about the informant. I didn't hear they did, but I feel so because we have the Cobra energy with the trickery and the informant energy. Um, double betrayal energy and heavy Scorpionic and Libra energy. So for some, I feel the Scorpio and Libra knew. And I'm just being for real. Just saying. Attachment. A particular Aries through many series of chain events is about to reach out to someone. I've never communicated with them before, but about to communicate with them soon. It will be a, a, a positive bond here, a friendship that will last a long time. This person is a very loyal person, but know this person is a loyal person. You betray them, they will cut you off. Know this. Well, wow, that's beautiful. I mean... That's beautiful. There's a little warning in there, but it's not really not a bad warning. Uh, to me, that's standard friend practices, or it should be. Um, because when it's not standard friend practices, this is what the hell happens. The cobra with the trickery energy. And that's just the damn truth. If people stood by a code of ethics and treated people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, integrity, and value, we wouldn't have these kind of problems. And that's just the truth. Um, but whoever this person is, you have never reached out to them before and communicated with them before. So you know of them in some shape, form, or fashion. You like them. It could be that far side of them has got you like, whoa, for some. For some, it could be any other side, masculine or female, okay? But however it resonates, you know of them. I feel for some, they have social media platforms, and that's how you know of them. So public social media platforms. Um, and so you're going to put yourself out there and reach out. Finally, I heard you have never reached out and tried to attempt to communicate with them before, but it's probably for strategic reasons is why you never have. Um, but, and I feeling text or email or um, messenger or something of that nature is what I'm feeling here. And I'm just being serious. But how that res I mean, however you choose to communicate though, because one of you guys is about to communicate through the mailbox. You do not say, well, either United States Postal Service or any other country you reside in, I should say. But however that resonates, I feel in this one is probably text or messenger or maybe even a phone call for some. But however that resonates, um, you like them. You like them. Um, attachment energy here. I don't think this is healthy. Um, I'm sorry. I don't think it's unhealthy codependent energy. I think you're going to get attached to them in a positive way. I heard the bond. There will be a deep bond there once it gets formed, obviously. You haven't even reached out to this person yet. Um, but it sounds like it's going to be mutual bond. And it sounds like a platonic mutual bond, like a positive, healthy, copacetic, non-codependent bond. Like you do the, your thing, they do their thing. You know, y'all communicate when you can, you hang out when you can. Like very non-detached, non-codependent bond. It's how you manifest the bond. It's how you manifest the connection. Um, if anybody needs to hear that. Okay. I heard it will, uh, this person is very loyal, but if you betray them, they will cut you off and they will not come back. Know this. So it's very important for whoever this is for, whoever you're thinking about reaching out to. And I strongly feel they have a public social media platform because how else do you know about them? You know, um, if you reach out to them and you betray them, if you cobra them, if you take on the cobra energy and you take on the trickery energy, they will cut your ass off and they will not look back, which is the way it should be. So just know that, Aries, if that resonates for you, okay? Um, so, but I think you're going to form a bond there is what I'm saying. Because I heard a bond will be formed, but the other person will form a bond too. But it sounds like a very healthy, non-codependent bond, which is the way it should be. Let me see if I hear anything else. And for some, they could be spiritual or you could be spiritual because we have the spiritual guidance card in here with the climbing for success. So I think the 
bond is going to be very successful and I heard it was going to be, but it's all in how you and this other person manifest it. So if you manifest it in a positive, healthy, copacetic way, positive communication, laughter, fun, um, you know, not relying on each other for money and um, you do your thing, they do their thing, hang out when you can, blase, blase, blase. What is it? There's, I mean, hell, that's the best kind of relationships, whether it's platonic or romantic or what have you. And that's just the truth. Real thrill. So actually, I feel this is attachment reverse. Um, I do. More traveling coming for an Aries soon. It's going to make them very happy. And one Aries is about to take their family on vacation. More traveling coming for Aries soon. It's going to make them very happy. And one Aries is about to take their family on vacation. So one of you guys, um, you have child or children. I feel you can either be a single parent like me, or you can be married, like in a legally married binding contract, or a boyfriend, girlfriend, live in, etc., etc., etc. How that resonates. Um, I feel it's two adults or blended family. Um, two adults with child or children or one adult with child or children um, about to take your family on vacation. And for one, you're about to travel a lot more. So you could be single as a Pringle or you could have family. But it's going to make you very happy. I love traveling. It makes me happy too. Just saying, just saying. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Y'all saw me when I was up in the hotel room up in Tennessee. Um, hell, it was only an hour and a half drive, but it was the best. It made that, hey, me swimming with those young bucks adults out there in that pool for that hour was the most fun i've had in a long time and i wouldn't have wanted to be anywhere damn else than there in that moment in time and that night and i'm being serious with you just for real, for real i'm serious and i strategically placed myself in that hotel to be five minutes from downtown in nashville and like two minutes from opera mills so i was right there but i was in that pool floating like a damn fish and i was happy and that's just the truth A fugitive is about to become very significant in an Aries life. For one Aries, they're about to report this fugitive. Oh my God, whoa! Fugitive energy, shit! I picked that up in Pisces in uh, Pisces reading too. For some, it could be a Pisces fugitive, uh, possibly. And I'm serious. Um, but only you know you're swearing at anybody else. But I did pick up fugitive energy in Pisces, on one of Pisces readings as well. Hmm. A fugitive is about to become very significant in Aries life. And for one of you guys, you're about to be bold with the firefly energy um, and climbing towards success energy and report this fugitive. Oh my God, you go with your bad self. You're about to be a damn hero. I mean, for some, I think you were tricked, but you're about to realize they're a fugitive. That's what I'm feeling for some. I think you were lied to. But only you know your story, not anybody else. Oh, and that could be the cobra and trickery too. Maybe some, oh my Lord. Somebody's around a fugitive and you don't know you are. But through many series of chain of events, this Aries is about to find it out. Through many series of chain of events, this Aries is about to find it out. So through many series of chain of events, you're about to find out that this person's a fugitive. And I think that, oh my God. And I think that's the cobra and trickery energy too. Nobody's told you this person's a damn fugitive. Or they're about to be, but you're about to figure it out. Or many series of chain of events, you're about to learn it. Oh my God. That's why I keep it my damn self. Oh Lord, I love traveling, but man, shit. Woo. Woo. Oh Lord. This is some shit. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I get so excited. A very, very, very large donation is about to get sent in to an Aries soon. And a very and an Aries is about to send a very, very, very large donation. Reader. Well, that's beautiful. I heard an Aries is about to have so an Aries, you Aries, you're about to receive a very, very, very large donation. Whoever you are and how that applies. Um you for some you could be readers. Um, because it's a spiritual card, very heavy in here. I mean, I'm just real thrilled. 
Uh, for some, I feel you can be readers, and I ain't gonna lie, okay? But I don't know. You only, you know your story, and anybody else. Um, but however that resonates, whether you're a reader or not, you're about to receive a large donation. Congrats to you, sir, ma'am. Just saying, just saying. Um, and one, so one, you're about to receive a large donation, reader or not, and one, you're about to send a large donation. I heard a very, 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 both of them very, 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 very large donations. One, you're about to send a very, very, very large donation um, to a reader. So, to a reader. Um, wow! The spiritual, I think a light side spiritualist, a true light side spiritualist here. Not no dark side, putting secret hexes and curses and voodoo and hoodoo on your ass energy. And I'm just being real. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. This is so juicy. Okay, that's it. I just want to make sure I didn't get anything else. Wow, that's y'all. This is y'all my longest reading so far, but I hope y'all enjoyed every juicy second of it. Just saying. I love you guys so much. I hope it helped. And if you think anyone else would like my videos, um, please feel free to share my videos on your social media and word of mouth because I'm a single mom of two kids and it really, really helps promote my channel and one of my income streams. And since I recently got terminated, wrongfully terminated, number four in the universe on 516 in 2022, it really, really would help spread my business around if you um, if you like my channel and um, feel guided to share my content. I'd very much appreciate it. Love you guys so very much. Namaste.